This is the keyboard. Well, not quite. I need to add a few more things. A PCB. The mounting plate. And these metal rods. If they could just stay there. Thank you. Oh yeah, four M12 bolts as well. To start off the assembly process, let's first do the PE foam mod. Let's cut out holes for the stabilizers, and I'm very sure this will fit just like a mask, as the saying goes. The plate comes in three pieces for reasons I will explain later, but for now, let's just add in the switches, which will be the Echo Rose Red. These have been duped. We will be fixing the switches directly onto the plate before affixing it to the PCB. As the YMDK 60% YD60 MQ QMK programmable underglow RGB LED PCB is not hot swap, we will be soldering up the switches. Next, we have the 5mm thick poron tape which we will be cutting to size and attaching to the bottom of the plate. Next, we have these metal rods which are used for rigging up cinema cameras. Now, these rods are threaded on the ends. Let's start assembling the keyboard. Now, this case is made up of many segments that I have 3D printed. Think of it like a stack keyboard, but instead of vertically stacking sheets of acrylic, we will be stacking these segments horizontally. Now if you're thinking, why do this? Why print segments? Why not just print the entire keyboard? Well, here's why. Now all we have to do is wait for the last piece to finish printing. The PCB assembly slots right into the case and once we are done, we would have the keyboard basically almost finished. I have also added rubber feet on the bottom of the case. Now for the keycaps, we will be using this black and pink Dancer version from Echo. These are PBT double shot keycaps that are really nice. They come with an entire additional set of alphas, so really good value there. For this build, I'll be using the black alphas, which you will see here when I eventually get the case open. There you go. Beautiful. the poron tape installed, I have designed this case to be able to flex a little bit, which is quite nice. Now, for the secret part of the build. You might have noticed that I have designed a cavity into the case. Now there's a reason for it. This is a compartment for, you guessed it, rice. Now the rice acts as a dampener and a weight for the case. But really you could fill the case with anything you want. But I like rice, so I'm gonna use rice.
Now let's close up the case, clear up the table, and get to the sound test. Thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. I put a lot of time and effort into this. So liking and subscribing would definitely go a long way to helping me along. Thank you very much.